Hey guys, I'm Bianca Bruce and I'm so happy to be able to have a conversation with you today about starting fresh, starting new, going into Q3, we just got done with Q2 and you know how much I love breaking the year up. Why? Because it gives you something tangible to manage. It's 90 days, roughly, that we're working with. 90 days at a time. Now, I don't know about you, but I can do something for 90 days. It'll take a lot of discipline, but I can do it. So Q3 is upon us, July, August, and September, the summer months. Incidentally, we've also opening back up safely after a whole year and a half of just the most devastating and complicated and complex issues in our country and our world. So I've heard a lot of business people talk about going back to normal. And one of the things I want to encourage you with, particularly since it's summer, and this is the time to reacquaint yourself with who you are and have a lot of fun and hang out with friends and just breathe deeply. Now is the time to really ask yourself, what do I want my quote unquote normal to look like? Going backwards is all about looking back. It's all about doing what we're good at, what we've experienced before. And there is value in your experiences and you always want to mine your experiences to see and to evaluate what's working for you and what you want more of in your life. But there's more value in looking forward. We are human beings, visionaries. That is unique to the human condition that we can think things up and work our way toward a new vision. On a micro level, that is your life, your family, your community. On a macro level, if we're all doing that, that is a global transformation. So, deep breath. I'm not trying to talk to you about a global transformation that's needed. I'm trying to talk to you about a micro transformation. Start with yourself. Ask yourself, what is it that you've learned in these last months? What have you learned this year in Q1 and Q2? What are you awakening to? Have you noticed that you want to be behaving differently in business? Have you noticed that relationships, certain relationships are more important than others? Have you noticed what you want to invest into? Have you noticed what you want to let go of? Have you noticed what you could do without? We know that we can't do without each other. But have you noticed that you can do without the additional stress? Have you noticed that you can do without that meeting that could be an email? Have you noticed that you can do with just a little bit less of the expectations that you automatically adopt just because you're around other people? Have you noticed that you can do with a little bit less comparison and a little bit more proactivity? Make a list of the things you've noticed in the last year or the last two quarters and ask yourself, how do you want to show up in your life and in your business? See, a lot of times I think of life and business as intertwined. In fact, when I first started my career, my business card said, business coach and strategist, life and business coach. There was always this, this, this combination of personal and professional, because I believe that all of us live integrated lives. And if there's anything I have learned in the last year and a half is that myself, my team, my clients, we are all living much more integrated, overlapping lives than perhaps we have ever been aware of. So what do you want to have more of in your personal and your professional life? Where do you notice that overlap? What do you want that to look like? Do you want to have more time with your people? Do you want to have more time doing research and professional development? Do you want to have time thinking outside of the box and being creative? Do you want to apply yourself to your work in such a way that actually connects to your bigger goal and bigger vision? What else is possible for you? See, I think summer is this time of fun. And that's probably because 
up until recently, I still have a high schooler, but up until, re until recently, my girls would go into summer and we would have all these fun rituals, these fun things that we would do that were all around rest and recreation and resetting. And those are my rewords. And you know I love a good reword. And so summer is about that. It's about the reset. It's about resting. It's about re recreating recreating your life, recreating your vision, recreating how you want to show up and what you want to bring forward. I think personally and professionally, this is an incredibly valuable exercise because we're all interconnected. Just like your personal and professional life overlaps, all of our lives interconnect. We want everyone to show up fully alive in their lives and in their business. Because when you do that, you create more opportunity for yourself and for others to live better, to be better. And that's really all that this is about. So my hope for you this summer is that you would get to reacquaint yourself with what you want to create in your life, both personally and professionally to create a way forward that excites you, that is inclusive of others, that is kind and generous, that is fruitful to you and everyone else around you, that requires you to, to tune in and to do the best job, the good work that only you can do. So have fun, get into it. And if you want to chat about it or you want to toss ideas about now that we can meet in person and you live close by, let's do it in person. But also, let's not forget that digital connection is important, that that is a relationship. So I'm always here for quick Zoom chat and for connection with you to find out more about what it looks like for you to create your best life.